Hi folks, that's me on Good Friday, and I hope it's a good Friday for you. I just uh, thought I might read a couple of uh, poems from this book, and it's a good book, and you should buy it if you haven't bought it already. It's full of wisdom and comedy and fun, with some excellent sketches on some superb poems and prose from a collection of people, myself, Sarah Dugan, Rocky van der Benderscum, Phil Monk, Winston Matthews, Steve Cook, Melissa Dawson, who calls herself Melissa Daw Daughter, and also Ariadne Snail. I think you'll enjoy the book and all the profits that come from the sales are going to go to support the legal case against the government on behalf of we the undersigned to try to ensure that our human rights are respected. So I thought I'd read one of my poems to start with and then a couple of others. I hope you enjoy. This one's called River Alive and I wrote it in India in about 1985 while sitting beside a river uh, waiting to go pony trekking in Kashmir. River Alive. Whether we laugh or whether we cry, the river of life goes rushing by, down the hills and mountain sides, into valleys long and wide, towards the ocean that is its goal, its journey travelled by our soul. When I was just a little boy, the river rippled and dashed with joy, and as I grew and longed to learn, the river for the ocean yearned. As young man travelled round the world, the river twisted, turned and twirled, eager to find its resting place, eager to travel in time and space. And as the seeking man grew older, the river found a bigger boulder, but on its travels without its care, it knew its destinies not there. The rushing water is now quite slow, the river old has nothing to show, its happiness is calm and deep as old man takes his final sleep. The river that is never ending is to the skies its waters lending to rain again on mountain top to make sure life's rivers never stop. The river's message lies in this ocean of mercy, peace and bliss. There's some lovely sketches in the book as well from by Jackie Maitlin. This one is uh, Effie and it's, uh, she, she uh, did it for another book I wrote called The Effie Enigma, uh, The Motherless Mothers and it's on Amazon as well. And it's a science fiction story about people from the future coming back to try to um, save the world, <laughs> save the human race. And it's got a lot to do with LSD and how LSD was used by some of the scientists uh, in the 20th century. This poem is written by Sarah Dugan, also known as Sarah Sativa. That's a lovely poem. To have the eyes and mind of reason. To have the mind and eyes of reason. When all around is attacking misrepresenting, twistful and fearful. It's the easiest place to be. Cuts through the drama, cuts through the pain, the eyes and mind of reason. Don't have to jump off on any bandwagons. It walks its own path, keeps calm and scented, even when under attack by those full of fear, mindlessly pointing and blaming, feeling the fear, flight or fight, me, I will stay here, centred in my knowing. They may come, they may try and bully, they may try to fill me with fear, poke me to fight, poke me to flight, but I know my destiny. I know my strength and conviction. I know with an open heart. More people can hear and feel what is real. You come for friends, for family. It makes me more determined to stand in truth, 
to break the cycles of harm. I will keep going. I will keep love in my heart. Nice poem. And here's a poem by Rocky van der Benderskam, who often seems to have a very low impression of himself, but he's a fantastic guy. He says some amazing things. He's got a life full of experiences. He's struggling on for real health, fighting for everybody's rights. He's a wonderful person. This one's called Weird World. The sky went weird, the people feared, but the wind blew hard and then it cleared. The sky turned blue and clear and true. In the aftermath, there was much to do. But that leaves nothing for the papers to say. It's just a very ordinary day. It's hard to see beyond the disguise that they hide behind to make us despise. The bombs are dropped and the country cries. So they tell us the truth. It's always lies. But their action of their action, the children still die. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. More lies, the wars are for oil. And that's the truth. It's what they do. It's up to you to believe what they say or to see right through. Then put them to shame. For them, it's a game to make the world appear insane. So remember this and never forget, for the good in us all is not gone yet. Whilst walking through a world of treacle, you'll meet a lot of sticky people. Now I'm going to read one. I'm going to choose one at random. Uh, the Astral Supermarket by Melissa. The Astral Supermarket. I woke at the astral supermarket where a lone tree grows and as I wandered through the aisles and the astral tins of beans I found a single bluebell. Now I wonder what it means. Change is the essence of time. The time has changed. I was searching for your house on the day you disappeared. I was looking for you for a reason though I'm not quite sure why. I must have walked past your house at least 15 times, but when I passed it, I didn't see it. I was blind, blind, blind. And like the scars upon your cheeks and the bruises on your body, some words you know are empty, some apologies, not sorry. And I would search the seven, seven kingdoms for a picture of your love, volunteer my hollow patience. Petition all the stars, beg the solid earth, my dear, to find your missing heart. The extent of my debts, I know, no, I'm learning. All the times of you I was spending, when I thought that I was earning. What is my love, pray tell, but dust thrown against the sun? What does it mean, this throne to fill, if it must be done alone? You'd hidden your house for a reason, and I was certain the reason was me. You've hidden your house for a reason, to state the matter simply. We couldn't see, we couldn't see, we were blind and bl bound to be. Tattoos upon the enemy, because we couldn't see. And I want to bring, read one more, if I can find it. It's called Positivity. And uh, I wrote it a couple of years ago, and uh, it's on, uh, where is it, page 32, there we go, positivity always to be found in this the same place throughout our universe of time and space and I will travel at my own pace can you now see it on my face never to question now or how or why upon this earth I find I content and amazed beneath earth's sky yet soaring above white clouds on high Hidden within us there is a clue, 
It looks like I, it looks like you. For once we were one, and that is true. Now one so many amongst quite a few. There is a love, there is a light. Forget the guilt, forget the fright. Focus within on a wondrous sight. The future is now and ever so bright. And I tell you, it is bright. It is bright. Carry on carrying on. Spend your life looking inside yourself and find the peace and happiness that's always been there and let the world carry on with itself. Just take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, take care of everybody, take care of the planet and everything will be great.